what kind of improvements should you make on your house if you're preparing to sell it and you want to really recoup your investment or really increase the value of your home? I get asked that question so many times. I thought I would put together a video and share with you guys some results of a recent Zillow study. And um, I thought, you know, like I kind of found it interesting. Um, I don't think it's 100% accurate for our area, but I wanted to take you through it and kind of talk about the details of it. You know, what Zillow says versus what I also see in the field every single day. Okay, so I have my results here and um, I'll just take you through it now. So first of all, the garage door. So if you have a garage on your home, garages are always super desirable in New England. That is a no brainer. Everybody wants a garage, but if the garage door is looking mm, not so great, kind of crummy, you may want to replace it. That is, according to the Zillow study, a 93% return on investment. That's pretty good. So um, always, garage doors always come up um, in inspection, I will say, on um, the safety of garage doors, make sure that they're operating properly, but you also wanna make sure that they're looking really good and don't overspend. You don't need super fancy glass ones, you just need really good ones that are watertight and open and closed properly. Um, and then I really agree with that portion of it. I think it'll give you a great return on investment. Okay, let's look at number two, and that is uh, a stone veneer. Okay, I don't know if I really agree with this. They're saying that if you put some kind of stone accent or stone veneer um, on your house that you're gonna see a 92% return on investment. You know what, I really think that that is true maybe in other areas. I don't necessarily think that that is true here in New England. Um, it can be very hard to upkeep it. Uh, it can look beautiful, certainly, but if it were me, instead of doing some kind of stone veneer or stone accent, what I would look at is maybe putting in a fire pit, like a really beautiful fire pit if you have natural gas, maybe hooking it up to gas. Um, but a nice outdoor area with a fire pit, I think personally is gonna give you a way better return on investment than a stone veneer. All right, let's go on to number three. Number three is uh, a kitchen replacement. Some, not a full kitchen replacement, but some sort of level of improvement. They said if you spend $26,000 on improving that, your kitchen, you'll get about a 72% return on investment. I would say, maybe a little bit more than that. It depends what you do. When, you know, everybody was looking for white kitchens and white kitchens were red hot, if I can say that, um, I would say, yes, you would get like 100% return on investment, but like, don't go too crazy. The appliance package does not need to be crazy. Depending on the price of the house, you don't really wanna put like a, a Viking range in a $600,000 house. Probably not necessary. If it's a $2 million house, maybe a different story. So it's going to depend on what level house you're at, like what price point and what kind of improvements you do. Countertops, usually a great investment. Just don't overspend on them. Okay, all right, let's move on. Number four, they said a deck addition would be about a 65% return on investment. Do I agree with this? Well, I will say it depends. If it's a really high up deck, that's way high up off the ground, I would say no, not. Because if it's a family type house and you're thinking that your target buyer, maybe little kids, you know, parents of little kids do not want high decks. So I think it depends. If it's a low deck, yes, I do think that a lot of people would love to have a deck or some level of patio. Um, and they say that the, um, the wood decking is actually a better return on investment than vinyl decking. And I would agree with that. If you have a beautiful wood deck, like a mahogany or an ipe or something like that, I would say, yes, you're gonna do really well on that because everybody likes uh, a natural feel versus, versus the Trex. Now, personally, I think the Trex is kind of a lot easier to take care of, but it's all about buyer appeal. It's really not about practicality when it comes to sort of tugging on the emotions of the buyer, which is really important when trying to get your price. Okay, let's move on to siding replacement. The Zillow study said that um, if you spend about sixteen or $18,000, you'll get about a 70% return on investment for vinyl siding. And I would say that's true if you use the right color vinyl siding, but even better if you go with um, maybe the shingle, uh, the shingle version rather than just sort of the clabbered version. So again, it's going to depend, but like for example, yellow houses tend to not be that popular. 
red houses tend to not be that popular. Right now, we're still seeing everybody loves a white house. A gray house, sure, but a white house is truly the most desirable house. So it's going to depend what color, um, what color you put on it. All right, let's move on. Um, siding replacement, but if you use like a hardy board, which, you know, really is a phenomenal product, they're saying that, again, it's probably only 70 to 72 percent uh, return on investment. Not that different than vinyl and more expensive. So I think that's kind of an interesting consideration. If you're going to live in the house for a long time and you want to do that kind of upgrade, I would say go ahead and do what you love the best. All right. Uh, the next one is window replacement. So uh, this is interesting. They're saying about 68% on window replacement. I would say in New England, where we have so many houses with like old windows, buyers hate old windows. I mean, don't you hate old windows? Like everybody hates old windows. If you can't open them, they're just not good. And also a lot of people now really look for efficiency when it comes to heating and cooling their house and they want great windows. So 68% in New England, mm, no. I say you get closer to 100% return on investment on windows. Again, depends on many windows, depends on your house, depends on a lot of things, but I would say that is a really great upgrade to do on a house. And it's something that you can do not just right before you sell it, you can do it years in advance of selling it so you get a chance to enjoy the good windows, right? That's that's the best kind of improvement to make, one that you can actually enjoy while you're while you're living in the house. I can't tell you how many people say to me, oh, I wish I had done this remodel like five years ago and had time to enjoy it before I, I sold it. Um, so I think, you know, it depends on the kind of improvement that you do. You don't want to put too much wear and tear on it if you want to expect a high return on investment. And lastly is the entry door. So they're saying that the entry door will give you about a 68% return on investment, particularly if you put in a steel or a metal uh, front entry door. I would say, I think you can do better than that. Um, Zillow says that if you paint your front door black, that you're going to average about over 6,000, I think they said, let me look here, $6,300 more on your sale price. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting. And they said that the least popular color door was pink. Now, having sold a house recently with a pink door, I can tell you, one of the great sales features of that house was the pink door. They loved it. They were super attracted to it, the couple that bought it, and they thought it was really cute and great. Although I did notice when I drove by about six months later, they had painted it navy blue. So I don't know, maybe Zillow is right about that. But either way, I can tell you that when you look at the curb appeal of a house, the front door matters. It is your first impression. It's like when you meet somebody, you always wanna make a great first impression. The same is true when we introduce a house to a buyer. We want to have that great first impression. So nice landscaping, beautiful front entry, nice safe front steps if you have steps, um, nice driveway, nice walkway up to the driveway. These are really important um, because that first impression is gonna you know, like tug on the emotions of the buyer. And that's exactly what you wanna do when you're a seller. Now knowing that the mortgage interest rate price is going up and up and up sellers it is still a great market to sell your house but you want to make sure that it's looking really as great as it can possibly look because buyers who have seen their monthly payment increases as they've been shopping not being able to find a house and watching the interest rate goes up go up they want to find a house that really is move-in ready, something that they really love, something that's special about it, it will make a difference. So I hope this video was like really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about what specific improvements you should make to your house if you're thinking about selling, call me. Let's just like talk about it because it really can matter based on the house, the location, the style, the color, so many different variables. Don't make a mistake. I have seen people spend so much money, even just on interior paint, and it has not helped the sale of their house. So consult your real estate agent first, or just give me a call and I will help you. All right, it's Judy Mitchell with William Pitt Sotheby's Realty, and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button or please share it with a friend. We would so appreciate that. Thanks so much.